all right so today I'm going to do a quick video hopefully a quick video on how to uh, hook up an OBD to a uh, dongle reader to your Apple iPhone or iPad so that you can get some digital gauges uh, to read uh, different functions for your car this is an LS3 powered 66 Nova I just finished it I've got about two to three hundred miles on it uh, I just wanted to make sure that I could get um, all the readings that I need the important ones like coolant temperature uh, speedometer and things like that to uh, work with this old car it's an LS3 powered from a 2015 Camaro and it's got this six-speed automatic transmission that came with that car and unfortunately it doesn't have a speedometer um, output I guess for the cable uh, speedometer drive for these old cars so instead of buying a new digital dashboard I did this just for the interim I'm still working on the car as you can tell my headlight switch is unhooked there so what you do with this is you plug that dongle in now this one's called a LE link to OBD2 you can buy these on Amazon they're 30 bucks maybe if that they may even be less by now um, anyway you plug that into your OBD2 port and then right here I've got an iPad that I'm going to set up with this uh, with this deal the um, download that I got, or not download, but the uh, app that I've got is called Car Scanner, and you can get that on iTunes or Apple Ice, the store, whatever it's called. So I'm going to go ahead and try to connect this to that dongle over there. Um, so what you do is you go to the settings here, and when you uh, download this application, um, it comes automatically. Okay, so you hit this connection. Um, when you download this app, um, it is set up for Wi-Fi, so it'll look like this, uh, Wi-Fi. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and change that to Bluetooth for an iPhone or iPad. The Wi-Fi part will work um, with this same program uh, with a, I guess, Samsung phone or different brands of phones. Um, anyways, Apple only works with Bluetooth, so you want to select Bluetooth, and then you need to hit this select device button here. So there's nothing showing up on this select device screen. So what you have to do is you've got to go over to your settings and make sure that you've got your Bluetooth turned on. Okay, so I do have it on. Um, then I'm going to go back to this settings. I'm going to hit cancel. Now, I've already chosen my Bluetooth, and what I'm trying to find is this uh, device. It's called OBD. BLE so there it came up so now we're gonna click on that and now it's checking to make sure that it can connect so once you do that you're pretty much connected so then you go back to this um, settings page I'm gonna go ahead and fire the car up so I'm gonna turn my switch on and I've got my lighter my cigarette lighter is the actual button to turn the to actually fire the car up okay so um, when you go back to the car scanner download or application just go ahead and hit connect and what will happen is, is it'll start talking to that OBD dongle you see how the lights are flashing so that means we're connected um, so what you do for your digital dashboard is you go ahead and you click dashboard it's got a whole bunch of different things here so here we go I've got um, my speedometer my engine RPMs and my coolant temperature um, so you can see the RPMs going up and down my coolant temperature is working and the speedometer does work I've tried it before so you can change these gauges around also so it's kind of cool you can do all kinds of different um, different types of gauges on this so if you hit this little settings wheel here you can do customize page so if you customize page you can go up whoops I'm sorry you can go there um, this is dashboard number one if you want to change the way that they look you can change the way that they look on your um, on your phone or your iPad and it'll show you a bunch of different gauges in my case I just use this one um, and I have uh, speed engine rpm and coolant temperature in other words speedometer rpm and coolant temperature um, so that's how I've got it set up but you can change all these if you click on this you can change that sensor from vehicle speed you can click on it and it'll give you a whole bunch you can do uh, fuel trims engine load OBD voltage uh, intake air mass throttle position sensor all these different commands you can put in that one gauge so you can have 10 different gauges if you like to um, and customize them to that I really only need what I've got here uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back and then back again and then just 
just tap on here hit OK so those are the gauges that I like now this one has three pages so you can click over to the next page you can set this one up also with dial gauges this is just a bunch of chart gauges that they put on um, out of the uh, the factory settings I guess for this uh, application so there's a whole bunch of different things that you can do so if you want to you can do that now that's on the iPad um, so what I've been doing is, is I've got this iPhone hooked up here what I do with this one is I actually just leave this plugged into the car um, and because I'm hooked up to the iPad it's not going to let me connect so let me get out of this iPad one here and try to get it disconnected so I'm going to hit disconnect on that and it's going to go ahead and disconnect me and then I'm going to hit cancel here hit OK and then I'm going to hit connect on this one and we'll see if she connects to it so yeah it is connecting so it says successful connection sorry about the sunlight coming in but then you just hit dashboard and this is the dashboard that I have set up uh, for this car it's just a speedometer RPM and coolant temperature okay and then there's other gauges that I have again the same kind of thing um, on that so Anyway, that's the way you hook up a digital dash. Now, this works great. The speedometer works by GPS. Um, engine RPMs, coolant temperature works perfectly. So if you ever want to go ahead and get an LS motor put in your car, and this will work for LS1, 3, 6, every, any of the, uh, the new OBD2 type motors, uh, you can plug this thing in and basically play. Uh, thanks again for watching, and I'll talk to you later.